hello and welcome to vlogtober day 20 and um, thank you for joining me today uh well all i can say is i'm back home from work and it's been raining all day long <laughs> we've actually got a little bit of flooding in the town center uh just across the way from where i work uh, we've got like a little bus station and it, it started to flood and there are other areas around the town that are flooding so and it is still raining it was raining i don't know it could have been doing it during night for all i know but it was raining definitely when i woke up this morning and uh, yeah <laughs> it's not showing any signs of stopping so as you can imagine having to go to work and coming home from work i'm a bit damp <laughs> my coat has just let the water flow and I must admit, as I'm walking around the house, I'm feeling, I'm feeling damp. <laughs> and of course, there's no heating on. <laughs> oh dear, but my sewing room is quite warm, so I feel a bit more cosier now. So I'm actually on my second cup of tea since I've got in. And uh, it's making me feel better. <laughs> That's all I can say. So I hope um, everybody else is well. I, I hope you're not, you haven't got this rain, but uh, I, I hope it stops. I hope tomorrow's a better day because I cannot believe that we had that lovely weather at the weekend and now we've got horrible rain. It's awful. <laughs> hmm. I've got Yorkshire tea, by the way. Well, I had intended on sewing my tea towel while I was at work today but I didn't get a chance considering it was raining I didn't really expect anybody in today because whenever the weather's bad we, we don't seem to see people out and about which I don't blame them really uh, but <laughs> yes yeah, so I was kept busy by a few customers today and I had a rep in today and I thought well I'm not buying loads and loads of fabric off him because let me see business is a bit quiet at the minute you have good days you have bad days and unfortunately that's how it goes at the minute so I thought well I'm not spending a lot so he's got one or two new lines so that had come in because I'm not going to see him again before Christmas so I've ordered a really cute dog fabric and a cat fabric and then he'd got like a like well, it's cottage core type of thing it's all the toadstools and fairies and things like that now there was four fabrics in this collection and obviously when i opened the fold up to have a look at it i thought wow this is nice and <laughs> three of the fabrics are really cute really gorgeous and then this fourth one which i like because it's got all these nice big toadstools on and it's got fairies floating around of two different sizes now the smaller fairy look very cute very delicate and the bigger fairy i hate to say this but she's got the most ugliest face i've ever seen and i said to her mother well, face is not very nice on these fairies is it he says you know what i have to admit that's what people are saying and everybody is just purchasing the three bolts of fabric not and not the fourth one i said well i'm not surprised I said, because if I had that in my shop, people would look at it and say, oh, I don't like the faces of the fairy faces. And then I would be stuck with this fabric. So I said, well, yes, I'm only going to have the three. I'm not having that one. <laughs> and it is such a shame. And I cannot believe whoever's designed the fabric, whoever's painted that design, has, has put grumpy faces on these fairies because it's just it spoils it which is such a shame <laughs> and then what else did i get well i got some cream i think cream ivory white and a black fabric with um i think it's got a, a little tiny white design on it so it's not just plain plain fabric i can't remember what i thought now so it might it might be a white on cream a white on white I think those are white on black. That was it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm totally out of fabrics like that. And what else did I get? Oh, we'd actually got some 
for the for next year actually which I've ordered now right just bear with me a second right well he did bring in obviously this winter one with the robin on and the one with the owl and the hair on now as he says to me these have all gone because they went very very quickly and I thought well yeah I mean, I've still got some in stock I mean it's absolutely gorgeous fabric but they're taking orders for this ready for next year so I thought well I will order some now because it is so so sweet it's the nicest winter fabric I've seen but they've also got a new one out and it's the same sort of background but it's got a reindeer on and it's got the antlers on and everything and I thought well I've got to have that that is adorable so I've ordered that so I've actually made a start on my Christmas fabric for next year even though I said to myself I'm not buying Christmas fabric for next year because I only buy Christmas fabric oh maybe once every two years really because uh, I don't always sell a lot of Christmas fabric and then another year I can just sell it just like that it, it just depends you know so I've got these coming in again next year which I'm really looking forward to and I can't wait for the reindeer one to come in because it is very nice so yeah that's probably that's probably all I ordered I think so it's only a small order so I've been very good this time which makes a change for me um I've just paid for some uh, William Morris Fat Quarters. Now, if I've got a photograph of this little collection, I will pop it in at the end. So these are going to be Fat Quarter bundles because I did think about buying it by the bulk for each colour, but then it's like having the space to put it on the shelf, which I don't have a lot of space at the moment. So I decided to get Fat Quarter bundles. So they should be coming in within the next few days and it's uh, a winter collection and they're really really nice and it's got the I think there's like a, a berry one and I'm sure it's got the bird the um, strawberry thief <laughs> that's what it is but it's not actually called strawberry thief but that that's what it is so I am looking forward to them so that's probably about all I've done today apart from <clears throat> I cut some fabric up yesterday before I finished and um, I sort of topped up one of the fat quarter boxes the sale ones <coughs> excuse me and oh, <coughs> excuse me and I cut some got some odd meters of fabric that I then rolled up this morning to put in on the no not in on the sale shelf so that's what I've been doing um I'm probably talking for the rest of the day so yeah so that's really all I've done today uh, apart from getting wet twice so I'm back home and have a nice cup of tea and I'm going to do my tea towel now so what I've decided to do obviously you know I've got a cream tea towel just let me get my bits together all wrapped up inside i wanted to do something a little bit different something that didn't involve an embroidery machine and something that basically anybody could do this okay i'm going to be using a sewing machine to do this but if you are a hand sewer and you don't have an embroidery machine you could still do it now unfortunately i haven't got my little tripod that i sit when i'm have having sat oh goodness me can't get me words out today i haven't got my little tripod that i sit next to my sewing machine or have like sat here while i'm cutting out or doing anything so that's my tea towel and what i'm doing i've got some fabric as it's autumn i thought i'd have this and i've got some trimmings some pom-pom and some nice lace now I, this has got a funny name i, I can't pronounce it goupier or something but it's absolutely gorgeous this trim and i've got some more red so i'm going to use that so what i'll try and do is i might just put a little picture in of maybe each stage so you can sort of see what i'm doing 
Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I hope you enjoy Lucy in the clips next and I will catch you a little bit later on. And I enjoyed that little sewing session. I hope uh, you like seeing the pictures. Anyhow, it's all finished and I absolutely love this one. This is what I wanted really. And I didn't know it at the time, but it is perfect. I love the lace, I love the fabric, and I love the pom-pom trim. Now, I will say that if you put pom-pom trim on, um, be careful because you could end up breaking your needles because <clears throat> I've stitched my everything's gone round the tea towel and stitched on the back and obviously with pom-pom trim it gets quite thick down there so <clears throat> my machine can cope with that because it's semi-industrial but my thread couldn't cope with it I had one thread breakage um, but that was about it everything else was fine now sewing this kind of <clears throat> lace on it's quite shiny and it is thickish and I know sewing on an ordinary sewing machine it thud 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 as you're stitching and it and your foot can push your lace off if you're not careful so you might be better off using like a walking foot that might help but I absolutely love this and I am definitely going to make more of these now because I like this a lot better than doing machine embroidery. But having said that, if I'd have, if I'd have got my um, toe stool design for the embroidery machine, I would have liked to have done some toe stools with this fabric. Now, I know when Adele sees this, she's probably going to want one for her studio because obviously, as you know, she's all toe stools. So I'm hoping to find that design out then at least I could do her something a little bit different but this this style of tea towel I'm definitely going to make more and I do think that the winter fabric the one with this on and the robin I think this is going to work better on it and then I could maybe have some white lace on it maybe just put a bit of white lace on this one I think that's what I'm going to be doing. So I've got one, one more tea towel to do, which I might keep for tomorrow. I don't know yet. It depends what design I'm going to put on and what else I can think of, <laughs> think of to do. But like I say, if you're hand sewing, you could still do that. It's easy enough to do. And you could always, if you crochet, you could always put a little crochet hand crochet trim on I mean that would look absolutely gorgeous and I've made some tea towels and I've put a crochet trim on and it's dead easy to do I mean if you've never done it before I'm sure if you searched online you could find like a tutorial or something but basically all you do is use your, th not your thread <laughs> your yarn that you're using and a cotton yarn is quite good um, do a blanket stitch all the way along there um, probably have a roughly about half inch between each stitch and then the loopy part that's at the bottom of your tea towel that's where you do your crochet into that so you'd put so many chains not so many chains so many trebles in there and just create a scallop dead easy very pretty and it just adds a little bit of color to a plain boring old tea towel and these would make brilliant presents you know i mean this year i think everybody's struggling with money um people might not be buying big presents for each other but if you've got a family member or a friend who likes to cook or who likes pretty things in their kitchen i'm sure they would love that or you could even do it for like a bathroom towel a little hand towel or something so that's a few ideas for you anyhow now if you do do anything, or if you do decide to do some tea towels like this, send me a picture of what you're doing. I'd love to see what you're doing. 
um, you can always get in touch with me via my email address which is linked down below or if you're on Instagram you can message me on there and send me a picture and I would be quite happy to share them on my channel if you do because I would like that. I would love to see them and it would give other people ideas I think we all need some fresh ideas now and again don't we especially if we're gift making I'm looking forward to uh, putting this in my kitchen. I think now I've done the tea towel, I'm going to have to make a couple of pot holders to go with it. Keep it company. <laughs> oh dear. Well, like I said, that was a, a bit of fun sewing. So I think I'm going to round this vlog off now for today. And I've got a bit of, what time is it? Oh, I guess it's getting on for tea time. I've got a bit of cooking to do tonight. I think I'm going to do some soup. Um, I'll just see if I've got enough ingredients for soup when I go in the kitchen and if I do I'll share that with you tomorrow but thank you so much for joining me today um, lovely having your company and I will see you all tomorrow so have a lovely evening everyone bye for now Bye.